Morning West Michigan, 513. Now hard to believe it is Christmas Eve. And I'll tell you, I, you know, I was running a few errands yesterday afternoon and myself, I really seriously felt like I was traveling around in the middle of March once the sun came out a little bit. Temperatures were upper 40s to even low 50s. Today, of course, we've got the wet weather around, but instead of these uh, April showers bringing May flowers, we've got some December showers bringing us December snow showers, which will be followed quickly overnight tonight and into the day tomorrow. The short term, though, looking at Storm Track Live Radar, you can see some moderate widespread rain across the area. So as you head out and about to do those Christmas Eve errands, if you're shopping today, doing any traveling, a couple of weather advisories you have to be aware of. First of all, a winter weather advisory kicks into effect starting at 3 o'clock this afternoon. This will run through 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And that'll be for our Lakeshore counties. Also included in that would be Kent, Montcalm, Macosta, Nuevo counties, and points to the north. The eastern side of the state under a high wind advisory. And that, of course, could cause some trouble if you're traveling, connecting to a flight, say, through Detroit Metro. So, again, very important that you do call your carrier. And keep those umbrellas handy, too. It'll be a very soggy Christmas Eve. The rain mixes to snow this evening and overnight tonight. A couple of inches of fresh snow on the ground by daybreak tomorrow. Though tomorrow will not be a snowy day. The snow that's out there in the morning will taper to just some scattered flurries. Temperatures will be a couple of degrees colder, but still above freezing for our highs. So I do think that if we do manage to wake up with some snow on the ground, probably is going to do a pretty quick disappearing act all over again. The coldest air, 33 in Big Rapids, points to the north, could be looking at some slippery travel, otherwise high 30s to low 40s. And you can see it really is a tale of two worlds nationally, Cleveland at 55, 58 in Charleston, and then that sharply colder air to the west. There is a storm system on the horizon or on the southern side of that, so that's continuing to bring us into that moisture. And you can see the flow down in, in Illinois, Indiana, Missouri, Arkansas, and that's where that stream of moisture is going to be coming from for us. The backside of this storm system, just some scattered light snow showers still left over from southern Iowa back into western Missouri, southeastern Nebraska, and eastern Kansas. As we look at the national scene, if you're traveling today uh, through the mountainous regions of the west and down into the southwestern United States, should be pretty good. A storm system in the Pacific Northwest, and again, it is a super soggy, very stormy day from the southeastern United States, and this entire area of moisture and energy will be curling up the east coast. So here's how your future cast computer models are handling the transition zone. Again, through the majority of the afternoon, plain old rain by 6, 7 o'clock this evening. That's when we start to see that changeover, the rain mixing over to slushy, heavy, wet snow. snow no showers tonight into early tomorrow morning will diminish to flurries pretty quickly. And then tomorrow morning could be looking at some slippery travel early tomorrow, but we do return to some sunshine for our Christmas day with high temperatures in the mid 30s. The rest of that storm team eight day forecast will show a quiet day for Friday. And then uh, your eight day forecast shows colder air starting to settle in for Saturday and Sunday. And then that cold blast with highs in the 20s as we head into the majority of next week and next Wednesday, New Year's Eve. You ready for that ball drop in downtown Grand Rapids? No, I'm, I'm never used to it whenever the year changes and all of a sudden all my checks have to write 2015. 2015, exactly. the next years, I always forget to write I think that's the why right you need year. to do that online banking. Yeah. That, that <laughs> newfangled thing called the internet. I don't know what you're You talking. like that? Strange <laughs> you thing. You can I mean, bank this online? Is just a, this really? is just a prop. I just, you know, I don't even know what it's for. It is 517 right now. Yeah. Facebook. <laughs> Look at that, Brad. That's you with your kitty and your puppy. <laughs> no, oh, quit. I'm, I'm kidding. 517 right now.